Um, so check it, check it out. So this is a video of this guy, Derek Grace. He's talking about how um, artists in particular, musical artists are low grade mascots for these corporations and uh, record executives and, and companies and things like that. And I got a cosign. <laughs> he makes an excellent point, but check it how I flip that into the notary business because there's notaries right now who are loan signing agents and notary signing agents and I know I know for a fact you don't want to do loan signing and I know for a fact that you may think that that's really all I have to do and therefore you know I have to work with these signing agencies and these title companies in order to you know do well and the fact is the technology exists that you don't have to do that right I'm not saying you don't have to do it at all if you enjoy doing it, then enjoy doing it. That's fine. But I'm saying if you if that's if that's all you think you can do exclusively, then you'd be uh, greatly mistaken. Now, because if you are business minded, you're entrepreneurial minded, then you are going to be very limited with what you can do as a loan signing agent, as a notary signing agent. Because for one, you'll have to either ask for a raise, right? If you want to scale scale it up, you have to ask for a raise, right? Let's say you go from making $90 a signing to $190 a signing. Let's say if you wanted to do that. Well, you have to ask for a raise. Well, that's what an employee does, right? They, ask, they go to their boss and ask for a raise. And signing agency is going to say no, right? Or you're going to counter their offer and they're going to say no. They're going to go with somebody who goes and go less, who pay less, right? Or you could um, do more signings, right? Instead of doing three signings a day, you do four signings a day. Or you do five. Or you do six or seven or eight however many but that's not very practical and it's very unsustainable because number one you're gonna get burned out right your body will physically burn out and your body will tell you that and your car certainly will burn out right because you can't you can't maintain that for over a long period of time so you may be doing well one particular month or one particular period of time but you can't keep that up so that's not true scaling right but here is a solution for you. If you're a notary signing agent and you uh, you want to scale, hire an assistant, right? H how about that? What if you, because you could do 10 appointments a week or you can do 10 appointments a day. Let's say you have somebody who did all your printing. They did all your phone calls. They did all your drop-offs. They did all your sorting. And they did all your tagging and all your stamps and things like that. All you have to do was show up and put the stamp on the paper, right? So let's say if me and you work together and I did all of your printing, I did all of your sorting, I did all of your emails, and I did all of this information that all of these steps that you truthfully don't want to do, right? That's really what makes the job very tedious. You have someone else do that, you could double your output, really. You just show up at 667 Main Street and I meet you there and then you hand me the stack of paper I drive off to UPS you go to the next one and I meet you there at the next stop and then you know you go to the next the next drop off stop that's really how you would scale that's really how you would duplicate yourself right otherwise you can't truly scale as a notary signing agent as a loan signing agent it's impossible Amazon taught us this it's distribution networks if you have an automated system then you know with the general notary or what i call specialized notary then you could always scale it's unlimited there's only 24 hours in a day and let's say it took you an hour to do appointments you have a ceiling of 24 appointments you can't not it's physically impossible to do more than 24 appointments right but if you had an automated system or you had an assistant right could you would duplicate yourself then you could do an infinite number of appointments you really could with an automated system of course but that's just some advice for my loan signing agent friends my notary friends who are loan signing agents or heavy into the uh, real estate guys start thinking about what it is that you're doing in these training programs that you're taking are they treating you uh are they teaching you how to become a better business owner a better entrepreneur because that's what you want to do or are they just making you a better employee think about that